Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. Officer declares they have enough to arrest Harvey Weinstein after new revelations. It looks like Hollywood rapist Harvey Weinstein will actually be getting prison time. Detective Nicholas D. Gaudio from the NYPD has said that there is enough evidence to charge Harvey Weinstein with forcibly raping Boardwalk Empire star Paz de la Herda. I believe based on my interviews with Paz that from the NYPD standpoint we have enough to make an arrest, said D. Gaudio in an interview. Things got very uncomfortable very fast. Immediately when we got inside the house, he started to kiss me and I kind of brushed, him, away, described Herda to Vanity Fair. Then he pushed me onto the bed and his pants were down and he lifted up my skirt. I felt afraid. It wasn't consensual. It happened very quickly. He struck himself inside me. When he was done he said he'd be calling me. I kind of just laid on the bed in shock, said Herda. I was in no state. I was so terrified of him. I did say no, and when he was on top of me I said, I don't want to do this. He kept humping me and it was disgusting. He's like a pig. He raped me, said Herda. Do you hope Weinstein rots in prison? Right after Trump urged unity in Charlottesville, sicko KKK leader David Duke did something disgusting. Former KKK Grand Wizard David Duke just blasted President Trump, saying he feels attacked by the president. Violence erupted in Charlottesville, Virginia today at the Unite the Right event. The event attracted unsavory elements such as white supremacists and neo-Nazis, who clashed with counter-protesters. This guy is sick. President Trump never stood for white nationalism. President Trump has repeatedly said he would be president to all Americans. And that's exactly what he's doing right now in his quest for unity. The left is always saying that Trump supporters are white nationalist Nazis, which real supporters of the president know is not true. It's a great sign that David Duke is turning on President Trump. The president doesn't need this wacko KKK guy to give him support, he's got millions of normal. Hard-working Americans who just want a better deal than the current political establishment has been giving them. The MSM will continue to call President Trump and his supporters all manner of vile things, however, and totally ignore that the white nationalist David Duke is criticizing the president. That's why we're asking you to share this five million times to get around them. We need to get this one out there President Trump is not racist, and neither are his supporters. That's why we're asking you to share this 5 million times. H.T. The Hill Traitor Steve Bannon just stabbed Trump in the back with this disgusting move. Steve Bannon has been one to President Trump's closest advisors since he's been in the White House. But his job is likely on the line now. According to a report just out by Axios, Trump now believes that Bannon may be behind some of the leaks that have come out of the White House, particularly regarding National Security Advisor H. R. McMaster. Tellingly, Bannon did not join Trump along with his court team, while he is away from the White House during renovations there. Many of the negative stories about McMaster came out of Breitbart, of which Bannon used to be executive chairman. That's the connection although there does not seem to be real proof as of yet. While Trump has been annoyed about Bannon in the past, he's still there. General Kelly, however, is trying to bring order to the West Wing and Bannon may just be one of the people that needs to go. Do you think Bannon is a leaker? Do you think Trump should keep him around? Comment yes or no and why. Then share so Trump sees it and knows what he should do. H. T. The Hill Wall Street Journal calls Trump racist for not demanding death penalty on Vegas shooter who killed himself. 
After the awful Muslim terrorist attack in New York City, President Trump called for the death penalty against the terrorist. One Washington Square Journal writer Real Icicles, called Trump a racist for saying the Muslims should be killed, but not the white shooter in Las Vegas. Stephen Paddock, the Vegas shooter killed himself. It would be pretty hard to give him the death penalty. NYC terrorist was happy as he asked to hang ISIS flag in his hospital room. He killed eight people, badly injured 12. Should get death penalty. Tweeted President Trump. Would love to send the NYC terrorist to Guantanamo but statistically that process takes much longer than going through the federal system. There is also something appropriate about keeping him in the home of the horrible crime he committed. Should move fast. Death penalty. Tweeted Trump. He did not react this way when a white person shot dozens of people in Las Vegas. He did not come and say well we need an immediate policy change, we need to give this guy a death penalty said Stickles during an interview with MSNBC. He did not call for this in Charlottesville when the criminal here did the exact same thing. Driving a vehicle into a crowd, said Stickles. If the Muslim terrorist had died, I don't think Trump would have called for the death penalty against him either. We did really well after 911. Keith Olbermann explains why Trump is worse than Osama bin Laden. Democratic commentator and complete nut job Keith Olbermann went on to The View to explain why he thinks President Trump is worse than Osama bin Laden. You said recently via tweet that Trump and his family have done more damage to America than bin Laden and ISIS combined. Do you believe that? asked co host Sonny Hostin. Yeah. We did really well after 9-11. I don't think that the country has given itself enough credit for what we did not do. We did not restrict all the freedoms in this country. We did not single out people, said Olbermann. Wow! 3,000 people died on September 11th. The comparison is absurd, pointed out Meghan McCain. But more people died in the Iraq War than died in 9-11. We didn't need to be there as a response, said Olbermann. You think bin Laden did less to damage America than President Trump? asked McCain in disbelief. Yes, responded Olbermann. McCain then completely wiped the floor with him. Can I tell you something? When I hear rhetoric like that, I think Whoopi and I are in agreement that we want Americans to come together. Rhetoric like that is so damaging. By the way, my brother fought in the Iraq War and deployed numerous times. So before we start it for tatting, there's a lot of service in my family, said McCain. So I don't understand, when you are saying things like that, bin Laden was dedicated to destruction of all, everything that we hold dear and our freedom, said McCain. Elizabeth Warren condemns Hillary Clinton after new evidence against her is exposed. Former DNC chairwoman Donna Brazile revealed a huge bombshell about how Hillary worked out a financial deal with the DNC to help rig the primaries. CNN's Jake Tapper and Elizabeth Warren turned against Hillary in a shocking interview. I want to ask you one other question, Senator. We learned today from former Democratic National Committee Chairwoman Donna Brazile that the Clinton campaign, in her view, did rig the presidential nominating process by entering into an agreement to control day-to-day -day operations at the DNC, said Tapper. The Clinton campaign controlling the party's staffing, strategy, finances, communications, and that agreement was entered into in August 2015, a year before she defeated Senator Bernie Sanders. This must shock you said Tapper. Look, this is a real problem. But what we've got to do as Democrats now is we've got to hold this party accountable. When Tom Perriello was first, Tom Perez, was first elected chair of the DNC, the very first conversation I had with him is to say you have got to put together a Democratic Party in which everybody can have confidence that the party is working for Democrats rather than Democrats are working for the party. And he's being tested now said Warren. This is a test for Tom Perez. And either he's going to succeed by bringing Bernie Sanders and Bernie Sanders representatives into this process and they're going to say it's fair, it works, we all believe it. 
or he's going to fail. And I very much hope he succeeds. I hope for Democrats everywhere. I hope for Bernie and for all of Bernie's supporters that he's going to succeed, said Warren. Very very quickly, Senator, do you agree with the notion it was rigged? Asked Tapper. Yes, responded Warren. Look at them taking responsibility. MSNBC's Chris Matthews accuses Trump of trying to start a civil war between white and black people. MSNBC's Chris Matthews accused President Trump of trying to create an ethnic racial divide and trying to start a civil war. After the horrible terror attack in New York City, President Trump pointed out that this man was led into our country through the immigration diversity lottery system. This impulse to go after immigration law, you know, right after Las Vegas and that horrible shooting out there last month, early last month, the conservatives said, we shouldn't be talking politics and gun control after such a horrible tragedy. Let's give it some time, whined Chris Matthews. We're talking about immigration politics before we even know what happened or even the motive necessarily of this guy, said Matthews. The terrorist shouted Allahu Akbar. We all know the motivation. The politics. The mannerisms of this president are, always look for the partisan divide, and if you can, if you're really lucky, look for an ethnic divide. If you can break it along racial, ethnic, background lines, it's a winner for Donald Trump, said Matthews. Then he got even more ridiculous. It just seems like he always looks for the, the statues issue, he's back in there again with his chief of staff. Looking for north, south, blue, gray fighting again trying to reignite, reenact, I don't mind reenactors, but he's trying to reignite the civil war, said Matthews. He's a moron.